And we are back. Alrighty. Well, everyone who might be watching this, um, eventually, says the internet connection's not fast enough. Well, I am pretty far away from the internet connection. That's probably what the problem is. Anyhow, um, so if you watched me this morning, uh, you saw that I was sorting out my game collection. Well, we're continuing to do so. So give me a second here. I'm going to just do a few things here on the computer to get prepared. Welcome to anyone who might be here. Sorry, just pulling this stuff up and we're going to get going. We did shelves 1 through 15 earlier. We are now doing shelves 16 and more. So let me pull that down. I no longer need that. All right, everybody. Whew. All right. So we did shelf 15, party games. Let's start with shelf 16. So here we are. This is another shelf of, of smaller games. So um, uh, we're just going through our shelves one at a time. So how does it earn it? So we're going through our shelves one at a time. So here at the top shelf are what I call the two-player Cosmos line, um, but this is not really this is not really a two-player Cosmos line um, because there's a lot of games that aren't. So we have Critical Mass, Curious Cargo, Kahuna. We have two copies of Lost Cities. I don't know that we need two copies of Lost Cities. Eh, I don't know. Emotep the Duel. Two copies of Seven Wonder Duel. That one's pretty popular. Asante, which also includes Jumbo, Starship of Time. This is a rare one. Uh, Inland Port, Mandala, The Thunder and Lightning, Hevo, Targi, The Rose King, Tally Ho. That's a silly one. Aqualand, Glasgow, Seastead, Spies and Lies, Watergate, and Patchwork. This is like a two player Hall of Fame almost up here. All right. So then we move down here. We got That's a Clever, Twice as Clever, Cartographers. Uh, roll and write time here. Animal Kingdoms, Welcome to, Patchwork, Devere Paris, Quest of Valhalla, Colossal Arena. This is bugging me a bit on shelf. These are bugging me a bit. By the way, not only do I have Onitama, I have this Onitama, which most of you probably never seen. This is the Chinese Onitama. And, um, it's a, uh, instead of having, it has like little miniature dudes instead of the very abstracted ones that came come in the original game. Here's the daimyo. Yeah, I haven't seen that. No, it's really, I saw it when I was in China a couple years ago and I was like, well, I, gotta, I better get a copy of this because I don't know, it just, it feels unique. Yeah, that's awesome. It even says Dice Tower Essentials on there. I, I all right, this, folks, by the way, is a really underrated, interesting two-player war game, Dos de Mayos. All right, so let's see here. Dinosaur Island, I'm going to take some of these smaller games and moose. Here's Pop-Tarts. 
I move, I'm going to try to put the same size together. This is a fun. Guardians and Haven. That's a Planet Hat and Red Raven game. Colossal Arena. Oh, you know what? Colossal. Oh, should I take Colossal Arena out? Is there a new version of it? Yeah, that one I uh, just put on the shelf over there. The uh, one from Plan B Games. That uh, one with the tree. Uh, the tree? Equinox? Equinox. Equinox is Colossal Arena. Mm-hmm. Like, what's the point of keeping Colossal Arena? It is a cooler theme. Hmm. I don't know. All right, we got Legacy of Dragon Hole. This does not belong on this shelf, so it's coming off. Uh, let's see. What else can we put up here, though? I definitely want... Let's see. I want to put the bigger games up here together because... This makes sense that games are the same size. This is the great city of Rome. You know what? This is a boring game. That's out of the library. We have a zero tolerance uh, thing here. Witness. Combo Fighter. Yeah, I think I'm going to put just bigger games here together because it makes more sense. I noticed that we got some party games here. Um, so I'm going to have to move some of these to the party game shelf. Hmm. I'm not thrilled with how this whole thing's coming together here. So, I like the top shelf. is great. Um. Maybe I'll put a bunch of rolling rights. Okay, so we got Imperial Settlers rolling right. And we'll put that next to Corinth, because that's also a rolling right. Is Paris a roll right? It's not. But Patrick Doodles and Welcome to are all rolling rights. By the way, if you come to my convention, please don't put rubber bands on like this. That drives me nuts. Just do normal. Uh, I don't think Animal Kingdoms is a rolling right, so I'm actually going to slide that down here with the bigger boxes because it looks more pretty. Copenhagen is a rolling right, so is Cartographers. And the two Gonshan Clevers. So that's all rolling rights. Do I have any other rolling rights on this shelf? I think Welcome to Dino World is a rolling right. Uh, is Harvest Dice rolling right? I think it is. Yep. Are any of these ones I threw up here rolling? No, they're not. Uh. It looks like all the rolling rights. Okay. Here's 10 days in Africa. I'm going to be removing this and putting it with 10 days in the USA because that's where that belongs. Alrighty. And then here, I don't think this will fit. Okay, it won't. So let's put just some normal games here. We got Gravity, Superstar, and. Oh, you know, compound it. I'm actually going to move that and put that on the uh, the science shelf that I found earlier. I made earlier. There's Tides of Time and Tides of Madness. I think they'll both fit nicely in there. All right. I'm a little happier with this shelf. We'll see. All right, so moving down. Here we have Codex. The problem with Codex is it's a two-box affair. Here's the other box. These need to go together. Did he say one of two and two of two? You probably should. What's in this box? Oh, all the tokens. All right. Lost Expedition. Let's move the small games out. We're just going to put in the tall ones for now. Herbaceous Sprouts. Heroes of Terranoth. There's Sushi Go Party. And next to that, we'll put Sushi Roll, which we've been saving. A uh, piece of cake. I'll save that one for now. Piece of cake, by the way, is the same thing as there's Shobu. And Tuki. That's from Plan B Games. People have already forgotten about that one. And bad maps. Okay, so we've done all the bigger 
size games. And we'll put boss monster there. Yeah, okay, that's pretty good for now. I'm still not thrilled with how this looks, but we'll put Brussels, Diamonds, Bell of the Ball, which is actually a pretty good game. And Death Angel. I like putting those next to each other, that's funny. Alright, so then we're gonna put in all the rest of these smaller games to hold in things. Harvest dice, and then we'll put pop tarts here in the end. All right, here we go. Going down. So down here, we have all the Friedman Freeze fast forward games. And these make sense to put together. Fortune, Felicity, Fear, Flea. Actually, Felicity is not one of the fast forward games, but whatever. Fortress, Biotex. Then we got Jump Drive, Jaipur, Paris. Is Paris a two-player game? It is. Paris should be on that top shelf, but there's no more room for games up there, so it's just going to be down here for now. All right. Getaway Driver, Sunset Over Water, Welcome to Verano, Custom Heroes, Grifters Nixus. Why is this one in the library? I don't really care for that game. I don't think anyone's going to play it. Gorus Maximus, Hiroshima Convoy, Encore, Flip City, Dwarf King, and Stellar Conflict. Then down here at the bottom, Counterfeiters, Hats, Walkstar. Then we have a trio of small games from John Cloudis. We have Neolithic. The Keep and Merchants. Cloud City. North American Railways. I'm going to move that in a second. This. Elder Sign. A lot of Broken River bands here, but we're going to be replacing a lot of road bands. It's, it's not a problem. The City. And these are going to come off. I'm going to move the Grizzled over, as well as Kingdom of. Middack. I don't think I've ever played that one. Big Monster and Control. Those are both fun games. Apples to Apples Marvel is going to go to the party game show. And we got Rumble Nation. And Alice in Wordland is also Alice in Wordland. I don't think that's strong enough to stay in the library. No, I don't think anyone's going to play it. Then I'm going to put North American Railways here. I'm going to put these two here. That here, and these two here. That's a little better sorted out. There's more room to put some small games there, but we'll get those in later. Whew. All right, let's answer some questions. Friedman Freeze's love for green and Fs annoys me for some reason. Well, his name is Friedman Freeze, so I don't think you should hold the Fs against him. Um, I'm willing to bet Tom would say literally any one of these shelves could never be played again. There's so, so many other games it wouldn't matter. Oh, Chris said that. Sorry. What did he say that to? Wasn't there a Harvest Dice already? They need to be together. Oh, right there. Where's Harvest Dice? Oh, there's Harvest Dice. No, I think I pulled it off one shelf and put it on another. I think that's what they saw. They saw me put it on top. Oh. Because I don't think I've done Harvest Dice yet. There's been other Harvest games and other, like, flowery little ones. What would I pick? One shelf of games to never play again. One shelf is the last games left on Earth. <laughs> I pick one shelf of games to never be played again. Chris was absolutely correct there. I'm reading him the comments backwards. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's... You could put all my favorite games on one shelf. And I would still pick everything else because it's just not that big of a deal to me um alrighty okay so there we go that was shelf okay Tom how will you minimize the library with no play statistics for the past year to know what people are playing and not playing <laughs> 
Okay. Um, uh, the way I'm going to do that is, um, f so I was laughing about a different comment. That's easy. I just, I feel like I have a decent pulse of what people play and don't play. The games that I'm throwing out here, nobody ever has played them. They were just slightly new when I put them in the library, but that's over. I just, I keep an eye on internet. I keep an eye on hot games. I have a pretty good feel for that without game statistics. But I'm not going to need to cull the library too much. Not yet. You'll see. When we get to the end, there will be, there will be, well, I hope there will be space. We'll see. I mean, look, I left space here to put games. No, I was laughing about this comment. Justin says, the lighting above you is a bit harsh. Sure, but this is not a recording studio. This is my library. I just happen to be live streaming it. I want harsh, bright lights in here. I want to be able to see the games. <laughs> this happened when we were moving in. Someone said, you left the door open and the lighting would be better if you kept it shut. Yes, but also we were moving. <laughs> Am I the only one sitting in this in order to silently sit in judgment on the way Tom organizes the games? Well, I would say that you already failed at the silent part of that. All right. I think I caught up on comments. All right. Let's, let's move to shelf, uh, that was 16? Let's go to shelf 17. All right. <clears throat> All right, here we go. This is another Ameritrash type shelf. I don't think I'd be doing a lot of changes on this one. So we got Relic, Talisman, Talisman, uh, Skull Hollow, great game, Wildlands and Judge Dread, which are the same game, Dire Wild, Dual of Ages with the extra stuff, Forgotten Waters, Aftermath, Dune Imperium, Dead of Winter, Dead of Winter. Ghostbusters 1 and 2. Now, this is a, a tough one to keep. Eh, if only because I really don't think people are playing these. But I'm going to keep them for now. Last Friday is a tougher one and alone. These are both games I don't think people are playing. Warrior Knights, Mezzo. You know what? I'm going to... I'm going to make the call here. I think no one's playing alone. Well, okay, let me rephrase that. No one is playing the game called alone. And I also think no one's playing last Friday. I don't think anyone's playing Ghostbusters, but I also think people are going to come in the library and look at them. Why did I do that? Because the next three games here are unmatched, and uh, I need to fit stuff in. I know we got more unmatched around here. Where is it? What is the newest unmatched? The purple one? No, no, they're not out yet. I thought I saw an unmatched. Yeah, here it is. Buffy. Oh, Buffy. There's going to be another unmatched, too. I mean, the Marvel ones. So for now, I'm just going to put Battle of Legends, Cob Cobble and Fog, Buffy, and Jurassic Park. Now, I need something to hold this in place for now. So we'll put this Legacy of Dragon Holt that I pulled out earlier in there. I got room for another game, too. Oh, we'll put Vast. All right, we got two Marvel Champions. It might go down to one as time goes by. Settles of Multiverse and here's Seventh Continent. 
All right, let's move down. We got Imperial Assault, Merchants and Marauders, Firefly, Cry Havoc, Rise of Moloch, Spartacus, Risk, Times of the Underdark, Nexus Ops, Chaos Ball, Rivet Wars, Deep Madness, Adventurers, War of the Worlds, Vengeance, Abyssal Rift, Folklore of the Affliction, Level 7, This War of Mine, The Reckoners, and Conan. A bigger game can go on top of those. I wonder if I have one I'd like to put there. It's got to fit the theming. Uh, that one's too big. That one's too fat. I'm looking for one that's just right. Hmm. No, 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 no. None of those. I really feel like... Oh, this will go well there. I mean, it's not huge, but... We're going to put Blitz. Ah, it's kind of small. Never mind. I changed my mind. I don't like that. You, you, you saw nothing. Uh, oh, I'll put the Summoner Wars there. The original Summoner Wars. Mm. That one will fit there nicely. Okay. What do we got here in the bottom? Giga Robo. Too many bones. Who goes there? Arena Monumental. Conan Battle Balls. Defenders of the Realm. And Blackstone Fortress. Yep. I feel like this shelf is actually done. All right, let's see what people said. Didn't I pull Seventh Continent out from another shelf before? Yeah, but I pulled out the original Seventh Continent. The one on here, this is that one that they made for people to play. And in fact, the Seventh Continent that I pulled off a shelf, I may not even put back in the library. It may go home in my personal collection because I feel like if you're going to play Seventh Continent at a convention, you probably just want to play this basic one here. I haven't decided yet, but that may happen. Uh, the problem of being the the biggest problem with alone is so if you never played alone alone is a game where you are playing it's one person moving through something alone up against three dungeon masters which is not that interesting uh, there's a lot of problems with it you can look at my review of it it's very slow no one plays it is the biggest thing and even if I thought it was amazing um, let me see what else we got here. Cry Havoc is one of those games that hit like a bomb and disappeared in a month. I'd argue it was a little longer than a month, but you're right. It definitely came off. I just backed the uncanny pledge for Marvel United X-Men. What expansion do you think are best to get from your prior Kickstarter? Ah, I've done reviews on all of them, so you can go watch them. Oh man, I worry for any game sitting close to Unmatched. Well, yeah, I get that. No, I'll move some around. Uh, but you're right, maybe the Ghostbusters. But Unmatched is going to fill up as time goes by. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we eventually have a whole shelf of Unmatched someday. Am I going to need two Dune Imperium at the next con? That's a really good point. I didn't think about that. Dune Imperium is going to be really popular when we come back. Yeah, I might I might see if I can get another copy of it. Thank you. That's that's a good that's a good thing. Yep, 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 yep. Any quick chance we can get a quick pan around the room? Not right now. Um I will do a pan I I've been recording stuff in this new studios. We'll we'll be po posting that. Or am I going to be looking at Chronicles of Drunagor, Age of Darkness? Eventually. How much larger is the studio compared to the former? I want to say it's 75% bigger, maybe. All right. Well, I've caught up on questions. Let's go. That was shelf 17 on the shelf 18.
Show 18 and 19 are my weird shows. Alrighty, these are not or here. Put these go somewhere else. I'll worry about them later. Alright. Same with that. Okay, what do we got here? So this is big giant stuff. We got Beast of Balance, Grim Forest. These are just big boxes, Blocus. We have DC Deck Builder. We have the quote unquote deluxe version of Pandemic. And then over here we got Dungeon Lords, Twilight Imperium, which should be underneath Hyperborea. All right. Okay. Here we have Gem Blow. You can play Gem Blow. It's better than Blocus. I'll put it on top of Blocus. And then we got Pentago, Cult of Storm, the board game, Power Rangers. Then we got some games that were thrown on the shelf by accident. I'm going to have to move these somewhere else. All right, we got Burger Jungle Speed. That doesn't belong here either. So we got Burger, Burger Boss and Spring Railway on top of Arbos. No one's going to play Arbos if they can't see the name. I'll turn it around, but I don't think anyone's going to still play it. It's a cool game, though. You build a tree. It's like Jenga with a tree. All right. This got squished in there. It has to suspend. It doesn't even have the lid on it. Where's the lid? Did the lid pop off? The lid did pop off. All right. Hoopla stack. Yeah, I'm going to put Suspend up here. And then here we got Claustrophobia. It doesn't say it on the side. And Glorantha the God's War. Okay. Yeah, this is not a shelf I'm happy with because of how um, just messy it is. But these games all belong on another shelf, so I'm going to be taking them all off for now. All right, here we go. So I got Tumbling Dice, this is a Dice Tower requirement. Flick Wars, Flick Wars is this really annoying box, you know. I wonder if I should keep Flick Wars in the library. The box annoys me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this box somewhere else. Since this area is clear now on top of Tumbling Dice, I got some games that can fit in this spot. I thought I had some games that fit in that spot. Well, I got one game that fits in that spot. Blowing the Velder Veil. It's up on top of that. Um, Maybe the face. Does the face fit in here? Yeah, it does. All right, great. Then over here, we have Pucket, Meeple Circus, and GKR Heavy Hitters. feel like something can go in the middle there. So let's put in... Betrayal House in Hell, Betrayal Baldur's Gate. Ooh. All right, down here. Ice Cool, Ice Cool 2. And then we got more root than you can shake a stick at. 
We have four copies of Root. That makes no sense whatsoever. We have four copies of Root? It was really popular. I mean, it, and it still kind of is, but yeah. No, I'm going to keep two. But yeah, yeah, two for convention. Here, can you just open these up real quick and see which ones... This is probably... I have I have deluxified quite a few of them. Okay, and then next. All the Root expansions are... We have moles, mole. I have two of each expansion. I might keep those, but they all go to the expansion show. Then I got Imperial down here, Eclipse, Hate, Star Trek Ascendancy, and Zaya. I can definitely get some more games in here. Also, why is there so much Nemesis here? Like, why would I have all this Nemesis? Is that two copies of Nemesis? Popular, but it's not that popular. Yeah, I think this is where we're going to save us some space. First of all, the stretch gold box. I don't remember. I think I have a sun drop version of Nemesis. I agree, Sundrop's amazing. This one has Wow, this is a mess, this box. This one's Sundrop. Alright, then this is the one we're keeping. Yeah, but I, it, as soon as you get them done, because I need to put them back on this shelf so I, for space purposes. All right, so we're going to keep this copy of Nemesis. I don't think I'm going to keep two of them because, I mean, the game is super popular, don't get me wrong. Yeah, this is the non-sun dropped one. That's garbage. All right, that leaves me lots of space on this shelf. <sighs> All right, let's find something. Smash up the bigger, geekier box. And I'm going to get judged by that box. Do it, did the board game Barrage sneak one of their pins into our game. Interesting. I'm curious how many they did that to. <laughs> Organ Barrage! We're going to come to your convention now. We're going to stick our Dice Tower pins all up in your This game. has Alter Quest stretch goals, but I'm pretty sure this is just Alter Quest. Oh, no, is... that's something different, isn't it? I thought I put Alter Quest all in the box. Oh, is that what it is? Oh! I think that's, uh. Isn't that Dice Masters or something? I thought that was. Uh, that's, a, that's a Tom Tamper game. Here. I'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Alright, how about this? Anachrony! Alright, I got an acronym in there. Uh, Commander Nets. Oh, that's magic. Okay. Yeah, that's a good call then. So honestly, that's what right, Tom so back that, that is what Tom called you. I don't oh. Come on, you gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta run it longer than that. I was trying to do better, but I didn't have a good thing. It's terrible. My bit wasn't fully formed. Oh, uh, you guys got my thing? Magic Commander, yes. Put that on Roy's desk. So I'm going to have make a... Make a, make a box. Yeah, right. Cover for it. Yeah. Yes. All right, cool. Yeah. Alright, 
right, Black Rose War. That's a good one to put there. Hey, Chris, did you get those things done yet? Chucking games like a madman. Woo! Put him in the trash. Well, okay, let's calm down there. Put him in the trash. I feel like I could put another game in here, too. Horizons can go up here. I've been looking for a spot to put that one. Um... And this, folks, is going to happen as we get farther down on these shelves, because I'm finding more and more holes to put games. Uh, I could put a smaller thing here. I don't know what I have that would go there, though. So, Tom, did you want one that has, like, another one that has, like, 3D printed bits and stuff, or do you want a more normal one? No, I'll go with the 3D printed stuff, because okay. if people want normal, they need to go to a different con. Okay. I'll put this best chess set ever right here. It's the best chess ever. All right, so all we're missing is a copy of Root. All right, let's see what questions people says. Tom wearing long sleeve and all black a mammy. How are you not fainting? Because there's a roof and air conditioning? Also, I can wear this outside. Although I did go to the zoo wearing this on Sunday, and that was a mistake. Um, we have a giant version of Ice Cool, yes. It's on one of these shelves. You'll see it very soon. I assume there are so many Ice Cools so they can all be combined. Yeah, because you can combine Ice Cool 1 and 2. So I have two copies of each. We may go down to one copy at some point. But... I wonder the popular the Nemesis versus Smash Up from a checked out perspective. Actually, Smash Up hardly ever gets checked out because it's such a huge box and has a gazillion things in it. Um, and so people are usually uh, intimidated by checking out boxes that are that big. I did not throw away the stretch goals. Don't worry about it. Um... Sure, and I, okay, again, don't. I'm not saying Nemesis is not popular, but Nemesis at a convention isn't as popular. The most popular games at conventions are actually Euro games. Um, big, giant Ameritrash games get played, but they also tend to get checked out by a very dedicated group of people who set them all up, have a great time playing it. You know, and then it's, but I don't need multiple copies of that per se. Remember, if we have three of the same game, that's a huge deal. We have two games that we have three of. Um, that I'm, that I'm going to keep. And I have maybe another 10 games that we have two of, and that's it. All right, I'll take it. Okay, so there's one over there that has the Riverfolk expansion in the box, but we already have two copies of the Riverfolk. Got stuff. it. Okay, that's fine then. So here's the one without it. Isn't it? All right. Because that box is, like, busted. It's, like, it's too much. It's too All righty, there we go. That is... Ameritrashy out. All right, folks. This Nemesis out. Yeah, I actually want to look in that stretch code box to see what it is to see if I want to put one in the expansion, but I doubt it. Unless okay. it's like a real expansion. Okay. All right, uh, let's go get shelf 19.
like what did I say about lying in the office? All right, here comes night. Oh. Wow, the shelf's heavy. Nineteen, folks, is the spectacular shelf. Is where we keep the games. You thought the last shelf was that way. You you were wrong. So we got League of Legends here. This is Max vs. Minions. On top of spinoff and. We're all out. I'm gonna, just switching the orders of those because it made no sense. All right, Boulder Dash goes on the party game show. All right. This one, I don't know why I'm keeping it. It's a Larry Harris gigantic war game. I don't believe it's ever been checked out. It's taking up the space of many, many other games. I'm going to keep it on the shelf for now, but be warned. It can come off at any point. I don't know who I'm warning, but uh, got Title Blades. I know everyone like raves about Title Blade, but those people don't have to put it on a on a shelf. Why is Royal Visit on this shelf? It should have been on one of those other shelves that do. Where else do they keep it, Tom? What? So the people that rave about it don't have to put it on a shelf. Where do they keep it? Do they put lights on it and make it? What was I talking? Oh, you're right. I, I I don't know what I was saying. Don't 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 judge me. This is Sentinels of the Multiverse. As Tom said, changing the subject. And Roads and Boats, Queen Domino and U Boat. I'm gonna move Queen Domino and U Boat briefly. Because I got some other games that are the size of this. I'm gonna stick in that slot. There we go. Clue Museum Caper, Earth Reborn, and Scotland Yard. Now I can put a chunky game here. Do I got a chunky one? Oh, I do have a chunky one. It's too chunky, I think, though. Ah, it is. Can I turn this one sideways? I can. Can it fit in here? I can't. Oh. All right, no worries. There's more than one chunky game. For science. I'm going to put another one up there. Fairy tale <laughs> and, and I feel like I could put another game in there somewhere. Oh, that big chunky game I just brought. Where did I put it? That could fit in this spot down here. Yeah! Here's Monopoly. And what's in this one? Oh, let's flick them up. And Small World, Giant Jenga, and Ice Cool. So I got room for another, another game there. Uh, Rock your dinosaur. Does that fit on top of Small World? It does. All right, great. I'm running out of long games, though. Let's see what's over here. Wow, what a mess. What a mess this shelf is. Sorry. Let's put my custom magical athlete here. Ooh, let's put my custom magic athlete up here. And then I'll put fairy tale down there. Uh, 
folks I think oh you haven't been seeing what I've been doing down there sorry there we go uh, yeah I know I could fit a few more in here and like I said if I get rid of these games I could fit a whole ton more in but yeah alrighty let's see what else people are saying um The best chess set ever would have edible pieces. Is this directed as Star Wars Queens game and War of the Ring Collectors? I don't have War of the Ring Collectors edition in the library, actually. I don't have a copy of it. I, I never got one. Um, do you ever worry your Roomba's listening to you? No, Alexa Siri. Um... Do all three copies of Wingspan have the expansion? No, I believe only one does, maybe. What are some games at the top of your head that you want two of? Uh, I don't particularly. The Dune Imperium is one I'm considering, but I don't know that I want, I want two of it. Uh, for the most part, I'm happy with one copy. The character asymmetric power cards in the Nemesis expansion are kept in the main game box. Whoa, that Batman shelf is lopsided. No. No, it's not. Okay. Um, let's see what else people are saying here. Man, that title blade Uber box was a mistake by Pope. I really think so. I really think that this box, if they wanted to put, I mean, everything in this box, it should have been double stacked and like a fatter box, like a, a like one of these, you know, a bigger box. They could have done that. There's no long board or anything in there. Um. I mean, I'll keep War Room if people are going to actually play it at a con. I just don't know that's going to happen. Wasn't there a smaller box, Sentinels of the Multiverse, in a previous rack? Sure, because I don't think people want to pull this out every time. In fact, I don't know that this has ever been checked out, this giant Sentinels box. I wish more publishers would stick to the ticket to ride square boxes. Oh. Hallelujah. For science should be in the science section? Nah. What is that fat one on the top shelf with the white marble? That's a marble bobsled. Bobsled, you uh, look that one up if you want to see how that one works. Eh... I'm not convinced it's live unless Tom answers this comment. Are most of the library games from your collection? Uh, well, I don't have a collection. This is this is it. Is that Magical Athlete blinged out? Uh, a little bit, a little bit. There's there's some stuff in there. I'm gonna bling it out even more. It's gonna fill a whole ticket to ride box by the time we're done. Uh, we're not going to watch any shark movies, although I am playing that shark video game. What is the worst part about moving? The worst part about moving is cleaning the old house, I think. I don't like that. When you're done and you're kind of saying goodbye, you want to come in. The best part of moving? Doing it right now. Oh. <laughs> well, Chris says the worst part of moving was when was the moving. All right. Here we go. We're done with shelf 19. Let's go to shelf 20. It's time to jump into intellectual properties.
All right. Well, they just announced a big giant King of Tokyo box, but they're too late. All right. Who cares? I got my own. And I got King of Tokyo. And Godzilla. And King of Tokyo Dark. Uh, very badly. It was spoiled. They still haven't announced it, but there's clear pictures of it on the internet. I, I don't understand anything about together. I'm getting tired of them not beating again. We'll do that in a bit. All right. Meanwhile, Red Dragon in. Not a big fan of this game, but some people want to play it. So we'll leave this one here. Um, let's see. Portal. This one is on tour. Jaws, Minecraft, Die Hard, Monster Crunch, Back to the Future, Back to the Future. And why am I keeping this one? Well, I'll keep it for a while. I don't think anyone's going to play it. All right, now we got Villainous. Boom. All the Villainouses. Eh, I feel like something's missing. Oh, you know how I found it? Because I was looking for Monster Box. That's right. One more villainous to stick in the mix. There you go. Villainous, villainous. And I kept them all separate on purpose because uh, I was originally combining them all, and then I figured people would just want to combine them themselves. Alrighty. Let's move first contact. That's kind of a party game anyway. Ten days in Europe. Ten days in USA. And 10 days in Africa. <laughs> Here's Honey Buzz, Bees, and Sunflower Valley. I just thought that was funny to put them all together. I don't have another bee game to stick in there. Uh, and I was the Cosmic Encounter Jewel and First Contact over here. All right. Let's move down here. So we got Sabotage, Bad Bones, Bob Ross, Horrified, Apollo, Rome and Roll. We keep that in here to keep Mike happy. Empire's Age of Discovery. Another Ticket to Ride 10th Anniversary Edition, but I put that one in there because it doesn't fit on the other shelf. New Frontiers, Clank Legacy. Oh, someone asked about a Legacy game. Here's another one I put in the library, but... You can play off our finished version of it. Catan Starfarers and Plague Incorporated, which I doubt is going to get much play. For a while. Then down here, oh, we have Dark Force Rising, Thanos Rising, and Dark Eaters Rising. Kenny G keeping it sexy. Marvel United. We have one Marvel United, but we're going to. There'll be room for the other stuff, so I'm going to leave this for Marvel United. This is a collector's edition of Catan. Scooby Doo, Betrayal Mr. Mansion, and Mystery Manor, Escape, Scooby Doo, and Pan Am. Then all the way in the bottom, we got some Hava games Karuba, Honga, Miyaba, Maya. Then we got Trade on Tigress. That's a pretty fun game, uh, despite it, the, the bad methodology it was made. Arkham Hard Card Game, A Kid in a Shuffle. Here's an expansion for Vast. There's no way that... Oh, oh this is a, no, this is another game of Vast. The Mysterious Manor. Well, that doesn't belong here. Neither does this gift game. Why is that there? 
All right, Chimera Station, that's a good one. Here's Call to Adventure. Did I not keep the other Call to Adventure games? I can't remember. Oh, let me look. Here's Call to Adventure Stormlight Archive. I thought I had all the Call to Adventures, but maybe I didn't keep the other one. Now, nah. what you gonna do? I'll put Cryo in there. That doesn't make any sense really, but it fits in the spot. All right, I'm going to leave that for more Marvel United stuff. All right. Looks like shelf 20 is good. Is that Fiddler on the Roof I hear? Yeah, maybe it was. Yeah, the Batman shelf is actually turned slightly this way because of the layout of the house. King of Tokyo is hot garbage. King of New York is hot garbage compared to Tokyo? No, I like King of Tokyo. I mean, King of New York is fine. It's just the King of Tokyo is easier, that's all. Godzilla does what New York was trying to do better. Yeah, maybe. Is that Count Chocula? Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. How deep are the shelves? 18 inches, maybe? I don't know. What is the wire bands growing around your box, and where can I get them? They're just rubber bands. And if you play some standing as your games move around and get annoying, it does. But that's why I'm, I, I'm, I'm getting my own box bands that go around the boxes. It's much easier, for sure. You can see what they look like if you go to our Kickstarter. Is Stardew Valley going in the library? Well, keep watching. Maybe you'll see it. This does seem like this is where Stardew Valley would go. That's a good point. Let's put it on the shelf. Good call. Fastest answer. I'll stick it down here where Marvel United is going to go. I think, yeah, there's definitely room down here. So Stardew Valley, there you go, on the shelf. Would I consider making a two-player game only shelf? Nah, I already have that there. Paul, Super Chat. Thank you for these videos. What are your current three Trapped at a Desert Island games? I don't know. I'll just look at my top three games from all time. That's what I would take. I would take my favorite games. Shouldn't the Scooby-Doo Betrayal go on with the other Betrayal games? No, because it's a very different kind of game. I don't want to put them together. I know several people said that. Let's see here. Any improvements at a new studio? I hope so. I'm looking through here. All right, I caught up. I caught up with this. All right, hang on, folks. I'm going to, we're going we're to briefly mute the sound, but I'll be right back with Shelf 21.
Alrighty. Okay, so here we go. What do we got here? Thebes, Adventureland, Blue Moon City, Conquest of Planet Earth, Fields of Green, Sunrise City, Ships, Ground Fort, Clinic, Sarah's Vision. This is tiny epic galaxies, but big. I'm going to have to put some kind of sticker on this side, I think, so you can see what it is. Well, I guess this says it here. Role player and Montana. I don't... Yeah, Montana looks better standing up. Uh... Looks like another game could go there. We'll worry about that in a bit. Alrighty, so then we got Shalia, both on Donuts. Diamant, Wyatt Air, Slapshot, Euphronia, here's the uh, Fallout, Curse Court, Botswana, Legendary Forest, Glory to Rome, Viking, Duke, Fuse, Kanagawa, and Yokai. Yeah, we don't need an expansion for Kanagawa. Senior Clowns. And let's throw into this mix Mid of a leader. All right, Barbarian Invasion, Mystia Icaon, Tang Garden, Tricarion, Beyond the Sun Sanctum, Consumption, and Idrisil Chronicles. Uh, if you ever want, if you ever ask me the worst game in the library, it's Seventh Guest here, which I put here just because it's that bad. It's almost funnily bad. Tosh Kalar, not a fan of that game, but a lot of people like it. Let's see if I can find a thin one to fit there. I think the whatnot cabinet fits in there prettily. All right. Now we have Evolution, 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 Quinamid. Endangered. Endangered should go next to evolution. Remember, a trip doesn't really belong in this section. War chest probably would look better standing up like that. Axio. Time Arena doesn't really go down here either. I want to do this. I'll move these over. Pull out King Domino. King Domino. Uh, there's Gip. Looking sad on. So it's a much cooler brother. Axio. War Chest. And Quinamid. And then Ratville here. And... In between those. Flourish. Yeah. I'm going to leave Flourish there for now. And then we got all the Gip series here. Then down here, this is all abstract. Both Santorini's, Pyramid Arcade, Nocta Luca, Dimension, Babylonia, For the Crown, and Genius. I don't know why there's another Project L game. We only need one of those. This isn't quite abstract, but it's close enough. All right, looks like shelf 21 is done already. Do you keep track of what games are on each shelf? For sure. Um, I, we built a whole library, a document and everything, but I'm gonna finish putting all the different games on the particular shelves. Um, I'm actually going to take Flourish off here, and I'm going to put this was brought about. This is going to put Zendo, Zendo in here because Zendo looks pretty good there. Anyway,
Having all this in storage now accessible where they do their work must be a huge change. Yes, this is going to be a really big deal for us in a lot of ways you won't see it. Expansion comes in, we'll be able to see the game faster, we can compare games easier, and just seeing these games when we do top 10s, I might just come walk through here when I'm doing a top 10. I just realized someone mentioned I have the role player big box here, but I I have the I have regular role players somewhere else. I'm gonna switch out Montana and put role player there. Where is that? Role No, nah, it's not in four. It's six or higher. There it is. I put next to the lock down. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'll pull them both. <laughs> we got it, Chris. So I'll show you what that this thing is. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, Chris, are we out of small stuff, too? Are we out of small size? Uh, no, we have some more of those. Oh, uh, somebody's in the second. Yeah, and this whole side. Oh, you're, you're, you, uh, oh, I'll, I'll ask if I'm wrong. Oh, All right, that was shelf 21, folks. Oh, wait, I'm still answering questions. Tom, are you going to do a walking tour of the new studio? Yes. We've been taking video as we've been building it up. So we'll do a video that shows you the whole thing later. Is thing of Valir and Nita Valir? It is. No, but I'm getting rid of... I don't think we need the expansion of Kanagawa in a separate box. That little yokai, yeah. you, you can have it if you want. I have it. No, oh, I mean, I think it's it's fine. It's just not needed to... Wait, wait. Apples to apples Marvel? I know you're kidding. How am I kidding? Explain to me how I'm kidding about the most exciting... Okay, I was mostly kidding. That's actually my favorite version of Apples to Apples. It's my favorite version of any game, Tom. <laughs> Anyhow. Um... Oh, did the guy show up to do the grass? They were supposed to be here. Oh, my goodness. I said good night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> what game is hampered the most because of artwork? Folks, I don't have a lot enough time to talk about that. But there's quite a few games that are hampered because of artwork. I don't see anybody out there, Tom. All right. Well, he said he said around 115, so maybe. Oh, I'm hearing stuff outside. Let me look. Yeah, they're out front. The guy just drove up, said Mike. Yeah, they're out front. Grip the trees down there. Okay. It's up. I think they just showed up. <laughs> I'm getting a new studio. I thought a new studio would come with kindness. I'm sorry. I apologize for Chris's behavior. I do too. Um... There's Adventureland. Tom taught me that game at Midgard and Iceland. I did. I teach I teach Adventureland to so many people because it is such an underrated game. Very good. Lockup is not an expansion. It's just another game from the same company, and I put them together because they look nice next to each other. All right. All right. There we go. That was Shelf... 21 shelf 22 we're almost getting the we're almost gonna get to the the wasteland shelves are coming but i think we have at least one more shelf of pretty much it's full yeah after that then things change everything changes someone will die in this episode 
What are you feeling? No, you know, they always have the episode after this episode. Everything will change. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I feel like my tools are being uh, used here. Not yet, but they're about to be. Are you, are you respecting you the tools? Out of that I respect them. We don't need to do that. Welcome to the Creep Show, everyone. That's, that's not nice. Yeah, Tom, I thought this new studio was going to come with niceness. Your word. That's called throwing it back on you. All right, let's take it. So here's what happened, folks. When I started these shelves off, I started with square boxes. And now I'm doing them again. I love the sound of cutting grass. It's... Very soothing, unless you're about to record. Yeah. All right, everybody got here. We got Argent, the Consortium, Port of Niagara, Cosmic Colonies, Coloma, Lost Cities, the board game. Well, we were doing good till then. Sorcerer City, Democker, Inner Compass. <sighs> Inner Compass, what do you think? Yeah. You didn't play this one, right? I've not played it, no. I got to cut Inner Compass. It's just not good. It's too bad, yeah. AG usually. No, they're usually good. They're usually yeah. good. It's not, not on them. No, that one just kind of seemed like a miss. Occasionally you miss. All right. I'm going to put uh, our uh, dragon scales there. Here's Snowdonia for people who were looking for it earlier. Stephenson's Rockets, Enchanter's Overlords. This box is very big. Big cities. That box is also big, but then see if I can wait to do Wishland. Fits in there beautifully. Wishland. I'll give Wishland a 7.5. No, Z did. Oh, okay. Wishland. I think he gave it an 8. I believe I did as well. It was very good. I gave it a 7.5. It's slightly lower than Okay, I like it quite a bit. And uh, I will be stealing it. Post haste. No worries. It's gone! I will give it I have not played it. Swordcrafters, raids, vinyl. Magic Maze, Magic Maze on Mars. Rise to Nobility, that's not a very good game, but some people like it. Succulent. I'm going to put Rise to Nobility next to Rising 5. I don't know why this sort of thing amuses me so much. Succulent, Kotal, and Sonic is a party game that does not belong on this shelf. I'm going to put Dive there, because I think Dive is cool looking. Dive is also fun. Catacombs, Cubes, Moonquake, Escape, Eco Links. Vegas Showdown and Search for Planet X. All right, let's move down. Dogs of War, Dominations, Dinosaur Island. We'll be putting Dinosaur World next to that one soon. Downforce, this is my very custom version of Downforce with Mario Kart's in it. Sonora, Black Fleet, Archipelago, Oceans, Dominaire. We have two cups of Isle Cat, but I think that's worth it for now. Oh, I'm going to put Oceans next to Oceanos because... Again, I have a problem with this sort of thing. Oceans rise, nations fall. All right, I got room for a game here, and I'm going to put... I'll put Gnome Land here next to Isle of Cats. All right, down here I got Nancy Narking, Butterfly... Dust in the Wings, Papillon. This Aeon's End doesn't belong here because I already have an Aeon's End shelf. But I've been saving this, folks. Mariposas, if you remember this morning, I pulled it up. Just so I can put all four Butterfly games together. 
You can have a butterfly themed day. All we are is dust in the wings. And then I'm a fate of the other guys. Respect my tools. Oh, yeah, we're very clear. Uh oh. Uh, uh, what I meant was, sorry, sir. Cupitos will stick in there. Uh, circular going up there. Meeple, the Libya Project, Petrichor, Dice Forge, Koi, Blue Lagoon, Steampunk Valley, and Stop Thief! First Martians. I think we should pull First Martians from the library. Oh, I feel so bad about this one. I'm the only person that likes it. Wait, you uh, like it? I like it, and I say that you should pull it. Oh, okay. Oh, I feel so yeah. bad. Do you remember how much it sold for at that one day, Starcon? Yeah, with the, pre the first, like the first bunch of copies, right? It's like a thousand some dollars. What? I can replace it with Four Gardens, a much better game. Is it? Is that why it's not fitting on the shelf? Oh. Maybe this I can't. Spell Smashers. Iquazoo. Museum. Legends of Andar. Planet. All that is Dominion. Dominion and its expansions. Uh, I can put another game in there, I think. I'm going to put in... I think I could fit Mezzo in there, right? Not Mezzo. Merv. Ooh. Merv is in. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the finishing of shelf 22. I guess I'll answer some questions before we jump into this shelf. How do you keep the games from the falling off the sides? I buy these. Well, I'm not going to pull one out now. But they're little metal things that stand aside. Are we playing any Star Wars games to celebrate May the 4th? Probably not. Am I the only one who wants to take all the games of the European place names and make a map of Europe out of them? Yeah, I thought that would be a neat thing if someone ever did like a map of the world but had a little game like you could, you it just had the all the games, board games listed. You could click on it, which show you the game in the spot that it's at. Yeah, that'd be neat. I've seen people do things like, oh, I'm going to play Carcassonne in Germany. I don't know that I would actually go to that kind of effort. But I think it just would be neat to see how many cities would be covered. That way, also, when people make a new game, they could be like, oh, no one has done Allentown yet. Darker Sons in France. So this is the, these are the covers. Oh, yeah. You're a little off screen. I'm a little bit off screen. This is important for the people. There we go. That's good there? So yeah, so this just attaches, I have to go down. Hang on, I need to take out the comment. There we go. So what? these just slide onto the side of the shelves? 
and then like that. Whoop. Games don't fall off. Ever. That, folks, is behind the scenes. The organization by genre would drive me nuts. I guess. I just want to go alphabetical. But, folks, if I did them alphabetically, it would also be every time you got a new game, you'd have to rearrange all the shelves. That's that's problematic. What types of our bands do you use? Ordinary ones. I don't like them. I want Dogs of War next to Isle of Cats. That is, that is I should have done that today. All the musicals today. Yeah, I don't know. I'm a musical kind of guy. Ooh, that's so butterful. Shouldn't oceans be by evolution? Yeah, that's a good point. I already moved it. How do you plan to organize Marvel Unite once you get everything? So just this Marvel Unite it. I can fit almost everything in the base game box and the uh, Kickstarter box. Um, and I'm going to put two base games. One in the base game box, one, and I'll just have various villains and characters in each of them. Sure then I'm going to put the Thanos stuff in his own box as an expansion. That's it. I'm not thinking about... I'm not thinking about uh, beyond that. Uh, three wings bands. I get the sense people are cooling on it, or am I just wrong? Well, it's all three quarters of a million copies, so I don't think people are cooling on it. Tell me if you've seen the video explaining the maths behind Spot It. I have. My friend sorts by max player count. Oh, well, that's interesting, I guess. Well, I don't know why, but cool. I, don't we put that information in the book? I think we're going to. Like, it, it's going to tell you how many player counts. All right, let's mess with this. All right, Pulsar 2849, an amazing game. That somehow is not staying in the box. Winter Kingdom. Why is Winter Kingdom not near the other one? Well, who cares? New Amsterdam. Holy. Torres. Which, as you notice, is not near Tikal and all them, but whatever. Ra, Taj Mahal, the Gates of Mara, Madeira, Deus, Paris. Or oh, look at those beautiful square boxes. Let's find some more. There's not many more. There's hardly any more at all. <laughs> but we got Renature. We got The Loop. We got Libertalia. Which Jimmy Stegmaier is definitely not reprinting, even though he bought the, uh, the website for it. All right. Then we got Ubongo, Wiz War, Paleo, Faw, Trekking the World, and Whitechapel. All right, let's see if I can fill this shelf with stuff that doesn't matter. We'll start with Bonfire. No, it doesn't fit! Ha <laughs> ha! Can't fool a vassal. I'll move this down here. <laughs> it fits up here. Move these square boxes down there. Bonfire, done by a new designer. Called Stefan Fell. Well, Stephen Fields. Very nice. Stef <laughs> Stefan Feld is the tallest designer in board gaming. Yeah. All right, bonfire. 
Let's see what else we got. Oh, it looks like this Stefan Feld has done another game called Rouge. And he's also done this game called Rialto. And also this game called Luna. And then Mikeo. All righty. This is the secondary Stefan Feld show. Then we have Ginkopolis. It's okay to do this. Are you guys still yelling over there? All right, then we got. I'm not yelling. <laughs> <laughs> Overpause. And then turn on yelling, you'll know it. I feel like I've heard that before. <laughs> that thing, like my, I think my mom used to say that. I'd say, stop yelling. And she said, when I yell, you'll know. Maglev Metro, Overboss, and then we'll stick turning taxis in here. All right. I am liking how this shelf is starting to look. Let's go down. All righty. We got Container, Meeple Land, and Kingdom Rush. Huh. Well, let's move these because they're not going to go in here. Hey, uh, Chris. Yeah. Where is... shelves doing, but I just didn't know what those were. Okay. That's the only stuff on there besides Blood Bond, right? Yeah, why would this? That's magic. I'm going to stick that in the shelf somewhere. It's a magic cube. Oh, you love that. I got it. Alright, let's stand these up here. We got Marvel X-Men, Cloud Age, Gods Love Dinosaurs, and Quetzal. Okay, looking good. Now we're going to fill this in with Funfair and Athenaeum. Let's bring this down some more. What's this brown box here? Oh, these are wheels for cars. We got spare wheels. We should find a bin, Chris, and put all these extra pieces in that. If we have, do we, have, we have any more side rails, or that's it? Uh, we almost used every single one of them. Oh, good. That's what we want. Yeah. All right, we got some more mega games here. I'll put these in sideways. We got Struggle of Empires and Rococo. We'll probably just leave that open. And um, a thin game that can go next to those. I wonder if the networks will go in. Probably not. Gilhova made the network so tall. Does anyone else have a problem with this box? I like the networks and I like Gil. But this box does not fit on normal size shelves. It's really tall. Like unnaturally really tall. Ah, it drives me nuts. Like it fits on none of these shelves. I have to put it in sideways. That just bugs me. I'll put it on top of little cocoa for now. All right. Let's put Big Daddy here. I gotta do it this way. Super Fantasy Brawl. And we're not done with Big Daddies yet. Wait. We got Dice 
Dice Throne, Season 1, and Season 2, which happily fit on top of each other. And then Dice Throne Adventures, which I'll put on top of Mythic Fantasy Brawl. All right. We're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah, I'm ashamed of that. I'm ashamed of that. Uh, I think that's a dark. This might fit in that. That was slippery. All right, Edge of Darkness. And on top of Edge of Darkness, I'll put maybe High Rise. High Rise, something like that might fit there. All right, now I got that bottom shelf. Alright, here we go. Alright folks, I finally sorted out my Dice Masters and picked the best. Each of these boxes has Dice Master stuff in it, but just some. Like I got, I think I made two DC boxes and three Marvel. And I left so many characters out, but I picked big name characters. Not not characters that are more minor characters. Um, what else can we put on the bottom over there? We're really getting close here, folks. I don't think you realize how close we are to finishing. We're going to put you, Boot, and Queen Domino down here. It's a giant Queen Domino. And then, pay no attention to how terrible this box looks. We're going to get a new box, Street Fighter. It's We're really going to get a better box. I feel like I have to keep saying that. And uh, After the Empire, a great game. We just played that one live on our channel and what's bowl fits in there all right that's shelf 23 Whew. we're getting there let's see what people are asking um don't let Thanos snap his finger. Half those games will disappear, but they won't be the ones critical to the plot. How easily can you find something without referencing in the library? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. I like. I just wanted to go find a role player, and I was pretty close to where I knew where it was. Do you know the guy who plays the king in Hamilton is also Kristoff in Frozen? I did not know that. Jonathan Groff, is that his name? I call him Spitman. Why? Spitman. Have you seen him in Hamilton? He does spit a lot. You're right. Is that who you're talking about? The king? Yeah, I think his name is Jonathan Groff, maybe? I don't know. My point being. <laughs> Jamie said he bought the trademark for the word, not the game. Well, we'll see. Yeah, no, that's how it works, man. Uh, theater is a, it's a harsh mistress. All just smoke and mirrors. Mostly smoke. Yes. And Some spill. Beer. And spill, too. Smoke and spill. Yeah, I'm not going to be giving you guys exact square footage of our house. We just have a lot. It's a mansion. 80 rooms, but only two bathrooms. Tell Mr. Biden I said hello. What's that? If you're going to the West Wing, tell oh, Mr. Yeah, Biden I said hello. He and I had that Twilight Pyram game scheduled Saturday. Don't forget. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chris. What'd you say? Oh, I was going to say, uh, unfortunately, you make me live in one of those two bathrooms. Just, uh, 
Well, I, 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 uh, let's see here. High rise has the same problem. I know. I think Gil Hobbit just likes making really tall boxes. I'm not sure why. Funny how Tom is complaining about something being tall. This is not a choice. Wow. I assume I missed canvas at some point. No, no, you didn't. It's coming. The Networks is the Stefan Fell of actual board games. Yeah, maybe. This is like a library basement. You got to move five shelves to get to one you need. No, actually, no, folks. Once we have this set up, we can get to every shelf. We set it up deliberately that way. Wouldn't the best approach be to sort them by box size and maximize space? What What do you think I've been doing? There, there comes, huh? Talking. Yeah, apparently. I always lump Queen Domino and you boot together anyway. They're very similar. I agree. I usually play them one right after the other. If you had to do it all over again, would you use these Baker racks? Yes. But I would have started with the wheels they currently have, right. which would have saved me and the guys many hours of pain. Jonathan Groff, he was also Alfie on House. Who's Alfie? I watched House. I don't remember who Alfie was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get that. Tom, what do you see as the major advantage to moving into the new studio? Jonathan Groff is also from Shady County, Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. Huh. Well, that's cool. Is there an HOA? There is no HOA. That was like the first thing I said. There was two things that were non-negotiable when we moved. No HOA and high-speed internet. No HOA and what was the other thing, John? High-speed internet. Those were both non-negotiable. Uh, Z sarcasm is not loud enough for the stream. <laughs> it's also not safe for work. All right. I'm going to be, well, I'm not going to move this in there now since Z's there. So stick it right here. Yeah, where where right. are you going to be walking next, Z? I'm going to put through this and then get out of the way. I'll put it wherever you want. I move. No, no, no. Just, just come behind me. All right. Let's move in the next one. This is ridiculous. Oh, the wheels on these are different. Yeah, those are the wheels. They are, yeah. Those those are the those are the better ones. Those are the new ones. You like these better than the black I ones either? I think the guy said that those were batteries. 
Oh wow, this is here right. Those are like got a roller skating thing. Oh, we could do a musical. And I can hold like one of these game shops and spin while singing. Oh my goodness. I like it. I want to be in a musical. Ah. This shelf, as you can see, folks, is pretty garbagey. There's not much left on it because that's the that's where we're at at this point. So now we're just sticking stuff on. So Home Right from Bright, Aquasphere, Space Empires, and Antiquity, all played by the same groups, same night. <laughs> Fields of Arrow. Actually, I could see Fields of Arrow, Antiquity, and Aquasphere being played together. Why did I not put this with the other stuff on Fellow Games that did not fit? Yeah, I don't know. No, they're right here. No, no, no. I got this stuff on Fellow Games. Oh, it's old stuff. It's games are actually going in the kids area of the library. Alright, I believe it's time to build that it's time to build that uh, social deduction. Ah! Are you okay? So the kids area includes too many bones and giant killer robots? <laughs> well, they gotta give the kids what they want. For it there. There's those, there's those polyamino ones. I know. Fields of Arles, the odd man out. Literally. Yeah, I can't think of a way to do it besides Rosenberg's going to design another game, then the whole thing is going to be thrown off. Yeah. My so dream would be for him to stop designing games <laughs> <laughs> right now, therefore, my shelf being complete. So I got one night Ultimate Werewolf and one night Ultimate Super Villains, and that's it. The weird. All right, so we have a bunch of social deduction games here now, including multiple copies of Spyfall. Okay. You watch your mouth! How? It's impossible. Look where my eyes are. Oh, I got it. I got it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I read that comic you met. You said I read the first. I read the first two issues of it. The first two comics. I fell asleep, that's all. When I read at night, I usually... Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. All right, so now folks realize this shelf here is going to be kind of just, uh, I'm throwing everything on it because it's all that's left. And so I'm not even going to label these quite yet because I may move them to other shelves as time goes by. Oh, this galley and moons doesn't fit on these. Why do people make games that are so tall? Oh, social deduction, right? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I can see that. Well, ish. Come on. Like I said, I'm just kind of filling up the shelf at this point. Here's Carcassonne Hunters and Gathers. I wonder if that would fit with the other Carcassonne. I'd have to cut something. Oh, I already said I was going to. Hey, 
Chris, can you? Ow! I need to stop pinching my fingers. Probably answer my phone. Come on, that's a biggie. We got a copy of Mahjong here. It's a really nice copy, actually. And then on the bottom shelf, you see we got Cleopatra, The Dragon Road, Moonrakers, Capital Ox 2, which I only met Capital Ox 1. Don't need it, it's included. Don't need it, it's included. Haunted Mansion and Red Outpost. This dinosaur game is for kids. It's going to the kids section of our library. Yeah, Capital Ox 2 is kind of like Sushi Go Party. Where it includes Sushi Go and then some. Got it. All right, folks, that's... Oh, wait, I missed a bunch of games earlier. Well, for now, Flick Wars will go back on the show. Oh, and Food Chain Magnet will go here somewhere. Probably no one wants to play this one. Food Chain Magnet? That sounds like a flicking game. <laughs> now we're going to put Vast here. And then we're going to put all these small games that I missed earlier. So Dungeon Drop, Import Export, and then all these PAX games. People might play them. We're going to go there. Oh, I got Takinoko still. Oh, I think that will fit next to that Carcassonne. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, wait, that's where the flashpoint is. For now, we'll keep the seventh continent because I haven't decided if I'm going to keep that in the library or not. And then I got some more party games. I'll we'll stick down here. Apples to Apples, Marvel, which Z mocked, but is actually fun. Starlink, Super Fight. Quetstone. Remember our trip. One of the weirdest titles for a name game. Jungle Speed. Chameleon. I think that's. I think I got it all. All right. So we actually don't have twenty-five shelves. This is shelf 24, I think. 25 is completely empty at this point in time. And, um, but I mean, of course, we obviously have more games that are coming in all the time. And it's not counting kids' game shelves. I have enough for at least two full shelves of kids' games. But I'm going to be putting those somewhere else. Whew. All right, folks. Well, I think that's enough for today. Um, this was a shorter video, I guess. Only two hours. We'll be back live tomorrow, crowd surfing at two o'clock and maybe some other stuff, but I got some work and things to do in the studio and there's still, this was only the preliminary. This is only the beginning. Now I'm going to kind of float around in here and move a few games around. There's also, you don't see it, but there's pieces for games all over the place that actually have to go in those games. I'm not, I'm not talking like we spill pieces everywhere because we would never do that, but like upgraded pieces and things like that. Um, and I think that's it. Um, so folks, thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching the most boring video you've ever seen on the Dice Dark.